Oh, right. I haven't done this yet. I was gonna start at the, uh... Place I wanted to be, but I'll do the, I'll do this. So uh, welcome back to Hollow Knight, everyone. Last week we um we started the Grim the Grim the, the Grim Troop quest line. Ow. Oh, I don't have Gathering Swarm equipped. I unequipped it because of the, the lifeblood thing I had on. Oops. So anyway, I'm looking for a small key. Because we need one of those... No, that's the wrong place. We need a small key to progress onward with the game. Man, I'm just falling apart. I just woke up, so I'm gonna use that as an excuse for my gameplay, even though literally every episode I record is just after I wake up. And a lot of the time it doesn't seem to matter. Cause, uh. Who knows? I, I, not gonna lie, this is one of my least favorite rooms, just cause it's, it's so big. You can fall so far. That all? No, there's still one left. It's in that alcove up there. Yep. Oop. Okay, so I've definitely gotten the key from this area already. Pretty sure that's the one I used to open the, the snail guy's place. Promise plenty, souls to serve, soul twisted. Hmm. So I do know one other place to get a key. There are a couple of secrets I can actually grab in the Forgotten Crossroads too, but I want to focus on progression. I want to focus on progression this this episode. Like I want I want to go grab the last true mobility item. Hello, Sly. Yep, nine hundred fifty geo. Give me that. And then... I think I'll buy Heavy Blow. Oh, he sells Sprint Master. Oh, I should have brought... I should have bought Sprint Master. That would have been a great charm. Oh. I can sell... I have a bunch of junk I can sell. Oh. And I'm headed that way anyway. Ah, oh, but then I have to go all the way back up. Just to sell it to... Or just to buy the charm. I'm I mean, I'll sell my stuff on the way down, but I'm not going to run all the way back up. I'm going to, like, I'm going to go onward in the area. Hopefully I don't die with all the Geo on me. And I'm going to find a, a Stagway station. And then Stagway back up to Dirt Math. Instead of trying to, like... Oh, there's spikes there. So let's just sell the King's Idol. We haven't sold one of these yet. It's worth a king's Amazing. idol, eh? Hollow Nest's king was an elusive figure, defied by the citizens. With the king rarely seen... Oh, that's deified, not defied. Deified, as in made godlike. Deified by the citizens. With the king rarely seen, worship was offered through these idols. There's an expert craft to them. Few alive could match this skill. Velmi Ardred. I'll pass over Hollow Nest Seal. Your son, Gian. Others have told me there's a statue out by the city's entrance depicting a large knightly figure. Could be one of the kingdom's great five. I'd have looked it over myself, but the gate's long been shut tight, and it's too much hassle taking the long way around with all the blasted husks about. Velmi Ardred. Gachail. Yep, that's another Hollow Nest Seal, all right. The shop will be overflowing with these things soon. Gah, I never guessed so many would still be lying around. If they're as common as you make them seem, maybe I've been offering too much Bellamy for them? Yeah. <laughs> I've given him like four of those and he's complaining about how common they are. Okay, yeah. We're going straight down. 1,900 Geo is more than enough to pad my pockets for the time being. Simple key. Oop, 
That is the wrong button. That is not the jump button. I wanted to jump in there all ceremonial style. Because this is the place we're going next. It's... The Royal Waterways, a.k.a. The Sewer. So I think... This is one of my least favorite areas in the game. Just gonna be real, I do not like this area. Like, all the enemies here are annoying, like these guys who flip over and change their movement every time you damage them. Ah. Tilted Bench. Or do I already have the map? No, I do not have a map for this area. Why did it say map updated? I guess I must have gone somewhere in the, uh... In the City of Tears that I hadn't been before. Man, gotta wonder what the what the survival rate is for these guys. If they blow themselves up with the moment they see something that could be prey. Like, how does that thing exist in the universe? Oh yeah, these guys. This is also probably the place where Gathering Swarm helps the most. Because while you're down there in the water, you can't use your nail. Or your spells, I think. <sighs> I forgot those guys don't have as much knockback when they're inflated. Oh god, now these guys. Ah. All good, right? All good, right? Nope. Three enemies in one. These guys are the worst. Because they also move so fast, too. If you let them. Luckily, they're not too durable. And they make just the weirdest noises. Yeah, here. If I drop down here, I can't go back. But I'm going to drop down here anyway, because I really want the map for this area. <sighs> These guys, too. The, ah, he just he just clipped into the wall. You saw that. He just... He clipped into the wall. I think we have an award for cheapest hit in the entire playthrough. And it's never going to be hit by... Never going to be surpassed. Because nothing is cheaper than clipping into the wall. <laughs> I remember the first time I played this game, I didn't actually understand what to do in this room. Because that gate was closed and I couldn't figure out how to get the corner for So I just went through the entire playthrough without the map for this area until I got to the point where Cornifer leaves and you can buy the map from the shop. Because he does leave eventually after a certain after certain events in each biome, he leaves and goes to the shop and you can buy it there and you don't have to find him. But I didn't realize, you just have to kill all the enemies to open this gate. Because the game really doesn't have that many Zelda-style combat clearing rooms. Hello, Cornifer. Make him noise. Ho oh, ho, aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's also orderly, so considered. Nothing... So cons so considered, that does in fact say so considered. Nothing like the crude irregularity of these caverns. Ah, but so sad, my trunk is telling me those fungal wastes are close, and I sense my damp adventure may have reached its end. Guess I'll be calling this map done. I'll grab that. Ah, look at that. This is a massive area. Right. But over here... Uh, where am I? Oh! Ah, this was the door that was closed before, I think. There's a door and I opened it with that lever. Alright! That's a, another connection, so... Is it like 
blowing itself up? One of these prayers doesn't consider me a predator and is trying to self-preservation its species. That makes more sense. Because self-preservation is a better reason to blow yourself into smithereens. Than... It is... Then, um... <sighs> God, the noises that, uh, hunting is. Hold on. I'm actually gonna check the... The bestiary, the hunter's manual. It will give its own life to protect its territory. Okay, so it is more of a self-preservation-y thing and not a hunting thing. How do I get back? Can I get back? I have to go lower down, I think. I hate those guys, because they're always near the water. Which makes it a pain. You can't do anything in the water. You can't even dash. Ah, uh, egg. Might as well grab the egg. There's no reason not to grab the egg, apart from not wanting to take the five seconds it takes, but I'm, I'm not that busy. Besides, if, uh... Do I see cracks? I do see cracks. Hello, grub. Be free. Tunnel off into the solid metal floor that this undoubtedly is. No one can stop you. Okay. Head to the bench. We're just gonna go this way. Oh, hey. There's so... I, I forgot how many eggs were down here. Like, this is the place to go for rancid eggs. Even after you've killed all those guys, because they never respawn. God, these guys take four hits to kill, too. I'm mainly just passing through this area. En route to the other area that I need to go to. That's acid. This is this is not water. This is acid. that egg. killed enough of those things to get the hunter's manual entry along with the rancid eggs I'm starting to realize and recognize where I am and I did not mean to come here but it is good that I'm here because there's something important here hello what's this Your 
laughing. Oh, you. Hello. Pantera. Ah, what a surprise! It's not often I receive visitors. It's been so long, ages even. I just hope my manners haven't left me. You've no doubt sensed my affluence. You're right to guess. I'm renowned among the amongst the upper caste of Hollow Nest. Well, I was, once, until those cretins cast me out. Have you met them, my former fellows? That's them outside, their bodies shambling around all mindless and empty, and I'm still alive to witness their pathetic demise. Ha! <laughs> I'm just so happy. Fate can be a wonderful thing. So you're not infected. I'm gonna open that door. So, uh... Because that's a... That's an important place I need to be, but not right now. There's one more thing I want to grab before we head up that way. And it's down here. I just didn't remember what was up there. I wanted to check. Only those who prove their honor in combat may enter the Grove Beyond. Oh. Ah! I can't be here yet. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, so I, I gotta go... I got... So, so that's what that lever does. Okay, I've played, the, I've played through that boss fight in separate save files multiple times, and I never figured out what that lever does. So that's what that lever does. So we gotta go face a specific boss to open that up. But in the meantime, oh my god, you're big and you're shielded and I don't like you. There's a bunch of new enemies here, but I don't want to fight them all. Alright, open this up. So now we can get there from the City of Tears instead of having to go all the way through the waterways. So that's a very important return path. And we could go up there, but there's really no reason to at the moment. Because the main thing we want to get up there is... Um, something we can't access yet. Also, I believe this is exactly where I want to be. Oh, those are spikes. Those are also spikes. Ah, oh, I landed it just the perfect. Whatever, it's not worth trying to. Ah, uh, I hate this room so much. Oof. That platform. That's where I dashed through earlier. This is where I need to be. There's something I can grab over at over in the waterways, but we're going to save that for later because I really want to get this done by the end of the episode. There's still a lot of space to go through. Ah, oh, no, wait, please. I'm too young to die. I'm too far from a bench to die. I jumped into it. Away. Better start walking then. Now that I'm back in the waterways, I'd go and fight the boss, but I I don't have my shade, which is the problem. So if I fail, I I, said, I lose all of that geo I have. Which is why I didn't want to sell all of my stuff right off the bat. Because I don't lose that stuff. just lose my geo. If I time this right. That was not timed right. Oh, but I'm here. Ha! Shortcut! Uh, who needs the who needs the rich cast of the city? Who needs to go through that rich district? Not me. Okay, this time I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna fight these guys instead of just trying to rush past them. 
and taking a ton of damage in the process. Gino is a uh, pretty difficult considering you don't have a whole lot of ground to stand on. Ow! Oh jeez, those aren't no ordinary spikes. I wonder. It's probably bad to do experiments like this while my shade is out, but there's got to be a reason those pillars have no bottoms, and it's not. Not that. Hey, Shade. Ow. He can use my spells. Picking back up where we left off. Alright, here we go. Or not quite. What's over here again? A, a wall. Oh, and ah, there's a, there's a pit. There's a pit here. With secret stuff behind it. Oh god, these guys. They're really they're they're tough to fight. There's a there's a pattern, but I can I can never really get it down. If you're far enough away, they shoot slime at you. And if you're close enough, they swipe. I think you gotta like jump over it. both. There's something I want to do over here, something real quick. Hello, Cloth. My friend, you dealt with all those beasts? I'm ashamed to say, I was hiding. Those ghastly things chased me and I ran. If you hadn't come along, who knows if I'd ever have survived. Others take me for a fearsome warrior, what with my impressive size. But this kingdom's beasts, I wonder if I'm just no match for them. <laughs> Enough! I cannot wallow in my weakness. I must take strength from your example. You act so confident in battle. You show no fear before your foes. I'll try my best to do the same. Alright. So that's going to be important later, which is why I wanted to come get this when I realized it was here. What's down here again? I, I want to get the I want to get the other thing first. I can come and grab secrets and stuff. There's a collapsible floor here. I don't have a map for this area, so I can't actually do anything about that. I, I'd pin it normally. But I can't. I'll I'll come back and I'll do all the secret stuff later. I want to get this movement item because it is the one and only thing that we don't have. Ancient Basin. Welcome to the Ancient Basin, everyone. Deepest point in Hollow Nest. Ooh, ooh, that thing is. Oh, I can't. I can't reach that until I get the other thing. Okay. Ah, bench. I can bench myself here. Good spot for a bench.
That was a waste. I should have done that with Gathering Swarm equipped. I think you all can guess from my general attitude what's up, what's about to come up. And of course, everyone who's played this game before is obviously gonna. That was way too early. Everyone who's played this game before is obviously gonna know what's coming up. This is the last true movement item. Everything else is more utility. No, no, this is like... Is this... I don't know if this is the right place or not. I think... This has got to be the right way. It's the only way I can go, and I know it's over here. These, these little orange blobble guys everywhere. These guys are pretty simple. You just gotta you gotta watch the lobs and just whack them because they don't move at all. <laughs> I have no idea how I did that. Now's the time when I want that quick slash charm I know exists. Great, more flying things than pop out of nowhere. Favorite kind of enemy. I'm pretty sure this is where we need to go. Is there like a return path I can open? Who knows? I'm gonna whack those guys just because I want the monster's manual entry. Yeah, here we go. Return path, don't have to do that again. I can fly back and get my lifeblood shield back now. Because this is not an easy boss. Ah, we're still in the mid game. But we're getting far into the mid game. We're, we're approaching the end game, so stuff's gonna start to get real spicy real quick. Here we go, boss time. Broken Vessel is a fairly simple boss once you get the patterns down. His main attack is a lunging slash that covers about two-thirds of the arena. Sometimes he jumps right before using this attack, but it can be fairly simple to dodge either way. He can also slam the ground and create blobs of deadly orange infection, but if you understand the angles, those are fairly easy to dodge. He can also wing his nail around him in a wide arc, hitting everything above and to either side of him. He only does this if you stay too close for too long, so if you keep the pressure off, you can prevent this from happening. Slow there, I should have dashed. I fell apart. I just fell apart midway through for some reason. I focused when I was full health, 
And I'm like, what, you could do that? And I was so distracted by that stupid revelation that I didn't bother to notice that I was still fighting him. Oh my god. My shade is gonna... I don't need, I don't need it. I don't need both lifeblood. This guy's not as hard as I remember. Small orange blob minions spawn randomly throughout the fight, with the frequency speeding up as his health drops. These minions always die in one hit, but they can easily throw a wrench into your dodging if you aren't careful. At certain thresholds of health, the broken vessel will leap to the center of the arena and start spamming orange bubbles. This attack can be tricky to dodge, but keeping an eye on the bubbles underneath you can help. Health thresholds aren't the same as the boss getting staggered. Staggers happen after a fixed number of hits, regardless of the total damage. I just flex healed on him instead of shooting him because I'm an idiot. By far the most annoying attack is the leap. The broken vessel leaps either to your location or to one end of the arena, but there's no good way to tell which one when the leap starts. The best way to avoid this is to dash towards him since he rarely jumps short distances. There really aren't many good opportunities to heal in this fight. Taking advantage of the staggers is important because of this, but if necessary, you can potentially sneak in a heal after the downward slam attack. Oh, okay. Not as hard as I remember, but still a, a, a challenging, rewarding fight. Oh, no. That poor guy. Here, let's actually... It's occurred to me that the bosses actually have entries. Broken Vessel. Shattered corpse reanimated by infected parasites. The shape of this creature. I have seen something like it before. More than once, perhaps. It looks like it looks a little like the bugs of Hollow Nest, but not quite the same. Where did these empty little wanderers come from? Okay, so that's that boss down. Consumed the monarch wings. Press B while in the air to flap the wings. Use these ethereal wings to sail above enemies and discover new paths. It's a double jump. So now we can double jump. And that's going to be helpful for a multitude of reasons, not least of which getting out of this place. Oh, yeah. Some bosses can be dream nailed after you killed them the first time to do like a challenge mode of that boss where they're like a lot faster and beefier and they're a lot harder. And it gives you dream essence if you defeat them. Uh, pff, didn't even see that guy. And get up here now but um the lost the, the broken vessel is one of them it gives you dream essence for the dream nail and it is it's good it's a good source of dream essence it's like 300 per dream boss you beat not all bosses can be refought But uh, the um, the broken vessel. Oof, I'm trying to get this this movement tech down. The dream vest the, the broken vessel dream mode is actually really hard. Like all of the uh, it's the wrong button. All of the dream bosses are are actually really hard. So I'm gonna hold off on that until we're desperate for Dream Essence. There we go. Gotcha. Uh, 
All right. So now we've gotten, uh, we've officially gotten every single movement, every single pure movement item in the game. There's still a couple of uh, things we need to get, but some of them are like glorified, glorified. Some of them are glorified door keys, and others are mostly just utility. How much time we got left? Hmm, not too much. Not too much, but I think we can. We still have time to go and fight that other guy and get the thing from the other place. Immensely helpful descriptions for you, I know, but I'm trying not to spoil things because I know I've I've played this game before, but I know people haven't. Not everyone's played this game before. I don't want to spoil things for you as much as I have been in the past, like saying, "Oh, we're gonna go do the the thing for this spell." No, we're gonna go get something really special. Like, I'd like to start. Now that we're getting towards the end of the game, I'd like to start being a little more cagey about what I'm doing at any given time. Like, I, I don't think I'm gonna, from now on, I don't think I'm gonna go beyond, but there's something I want to do here. Ooh, yeah, here we are. I don't have my lifeblood shield, but I do not feel like going back to a bench. Unless there's a bench somewhere around here. This guy's not... Uh, I, I hesitate to say he's not hard. But he's not the worst. The Dung Defender has quite a few attacks, really, but they're all mostly variations on one another. The one thing you do need to know is that using Desolate Dive or the upgrade Descending Dark while he's underground will force him out of that burrowed state and into a brief stagger. It's not as long as a normal stagger, but it can still be enough to get off, say, a heal. The other important thing to know is that both the dung balls he throws and his balled up form can be struck to redirect them. This can be useful for keeping the balls away from them as they break after a fixed amount of bounces. Otherwise, striking him will keep him in the air, and if you keep him in the air he will never end his attack, which can make it decently easy to get in some extra hits if you can do it properly, but he's really hard to juggle. In his second phase, he gets a new attack or two. I tried a couple times here, but you can't actually knock him out of the ground in this attack, it seems. Luckily, he doesn't use it very often, as devastating as it is. If you always keep enough soul on hand to knock him out of the ground, this fight actually becomes pretty simple. It's all about staying moving, keeping an eye on the moving stuff that's in the arena, and most importantly, keeping your distance from him while he's throwing the dung balls. You can get in a lot of cheap hits that way, but if you're too close, he'll hit you with the balls before you have a chance to redirect them. You're nothing. And he gives you a charm for defeating him. Defender's Crest. Okay, now we hit that lever. And for the longest time, I had no idea what that did, but now I know it drains that little grove. Ah, and now we've got... Here. Okay, yeah. So we're, like, up towards the top of that, but... I don't... Yeah, I don't I don't need to go through here. See, yeah, now this is drained. Good, okay. I don't remember which way is the correct way. Or if there even is a correct way. This seems promising. Oh, 
Oh, uh, hey, you can get, you can randomly, you can just randomly get Dream Essence from normal enemies. Hello, Ismus Grove. Consumed Ismus Tear. Acid shall be repelled. Swim in acidic waters without coming to any harm. Okay. Yep. Feels a bit slower than normal swimming. But now we've got that, we can swim in acid now. We can swim out this way. Which brings us back to that point in the... Yeah, okay, we're here now. So, I'm gonna end this here, and then... This has been a productive episode, so I'm gonna end this here. We're gonna, uh, gonna make my way back to civilization in between episodes and do a maybe like buy a couple things. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. And next week, I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go like secret hunting. So I'll see you then.